When building React components, it's important to think what happens when the component is removed from the DOM and if there's any tidy up work you need to do. This is something that I see quite a lot of people miss when they're building components. And as an app grows, this can cause you issues if components are leaving code lying around that's running, even though they're not being mounted and displayed to the user. In this case, we have an app component down the bottom here, and it renders a timer and a button that says stop timer if this.state.timer on it is true, which it starts as. And we can click stop timer to stop the timer. For illustration purposes, all the timer does is set an interval and every two seconds it logs hello world out to the console. But as a user of this component, my expectation is this only happens when the component is visible on the screen. This is a slightly contrived example, but if you've got any code that does run outside of React that's created when a component runs, for example, if you have any legacy uh, JavaScript that has event listeners that you're triggering from React, or asynchronous work that you're setting on a timer, anything like that, that will continue to run even when the component is removed. We can see this case here, the timer is running. You can see the count of hello worlds slowly going up every two seconds. If I hit stop, you'll see that the timer is removed from the DOM, but we still see the actual logs being logged to the console. So I'm going to stop it there. And you can still see that this number is going up every two seconds. To enable us to know when a component is about to be removed from the DOM, React provides a lifecycle method called component will unmount. This will be called just before your component is going to be removed from the DOM, and it's the recommended place to perform tidy up. In this case, we've set an interval using window.setInterval. We can use window.clearInterval, give it the ID, which is this.timer. That's what is returned when we uh, call window.setInterval. We set it, save it as this.timer. So what this will do is it will clear out the timer and stop it running, so we shouldn't see any more console.logs. I'm going to refresh the browser over here. And we're going to wait just a couple of seconds to see Hello World come through. So it's still running. Now I'm going to hit Stop Timer. And what we should see is visually it's gone, but now you'll notice there's no more Hello Worlds. And it's been way more than two seconds since I clicked the button, and no more Hello Worlds have been logged to the console. So it's really important to remember, use Component Will Unmount to clear any code that could be left behind running once a component has been removed from the DOM.